has strength. Conor McGregor coming off the fastest finish in a UFC title fight. December 12th, right here inside the MGM. He knocked out Jose Aldo in 13 seconds. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Brought to you by Hardcore Henry. Critics are calling Hardcore Henry a revolutionary movie experience. Only in theaters, April 8th. Diaz, older, taller, two-inch reach advantage. Time for our main event. And here is Bruce Bubba. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Presented by EA Sports UFC 2. This bout is sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Chairman Anthony Marnell, Executive Director Bob Bennett, Commissioners Francisco Aguilar, Skip Avancino, Pat Lundball, and Michonne Martin. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon side are Sally Amato, Derek Cleary, and Glenn Trowbridge. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This bout is sponsored by Bud Light. Raise one to right now. Metro PCS, where you can get nationwide coverage on the blaring past 4G LTE T-Mobile Network for just $30 period. And EA Sports USC 2. Pre-order your copy now at easports.com slash UFC and finish the fight. And now, this is the moment UFC fans watching around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Out of the blue corner, a crazy jiu-jitsu fighter holding professional record. 19 wins, 10 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, presenting the ultimate fighter, season five winner, and the number five ranked USC lightweight contender in the world, Nate Diaz! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist, holding professional record. 19 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 168 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, presenting the pride of Ireland and the reigning undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. The notorious Connor McGregor! Come oh, bring it in, bring it in. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. Touch gloves if you wish. Let's do this. Not a chance. Not a chance. Nate Diaz. Conor McGregor. Fight schedule for five. Five minute rounds. Here we go. Southpaw against Southpaw. Well, Conor will switch back and forth, left and right. And there is one thing we also should consider, and that is the wrestling of Nate Diaz, which is very underrated. His submission game is very, very highly respected. Connor's movement is so brilliant. Spin and a miss. A clinch. Where's the clinch? Nate Diaz has only been stopped twice in his career. Submitted years ago by Ernie's Franca. Head kicked and finished by Josh Thompson. That's it. And this is his 30th pro fight, 22nd in the UFC. Nice jab by Nate. And a good left hand over the top by Connor. Connor the aggressor here early. One year, eight months. 
Nice. Good left hand by Connor. Younger than big brother Nick. Nathan Diaz. Biggest fight of his life. Seems with Connor, every fight becomes the biggest of his life. Connor's looking, looking for that left hand over the top. Nate's moving away and popping yeah. that jab. Looking for those uppercuts as well. Good movement by Stockton Zone. He's gonna be talking as much as throwing. Both men will probably throw kicks without having to worry too much, especially Diaz with his great submission skills, especially from his back. Good right hand landed by Diaz. Will short check hook. McGregor obviously trying to close the distance here. Again, he winds up with that big uppercut. And there's a hard leg kick by Connor. And a good little check hook by Nate. Connor using different kicks already, Joe. This place is awesome. Misha Tate just won the belt. And now, how about these guys? Well, one thing that Nate has to be considering is the weight on his front leg. He likes to stay heavy on that front leg. And if Connor keeps kicking it, it could be an issue. Connor keeps going to that uppercut. The left side, keep an eye out. If Nate's going to get hit by it, or if he's going to counter it effectively. But he's looking for it a ton here early. There you go, right there. Trying to get Nate leaning in, Joe. Don't forget, check out FS1 for all the highlights, analysis, breakdown of the fights. The UFC 196 post-fight show on FS1, immediately following our pay-per-view. Couple good right hands in by Nate Diaz. Good head movement by McGregor. Off the arms that time. Some blood on the right side of the face of Nate Diaz. But both he and his brother, Joe, they've got so much scar tissue, they tend to bleed, especially from that eyebrow area, very easily. And it's already bothering him. Couple good jabs there by Nate. Good he left hand. Just by missed. Crowd loving it, justifiably so. Another good left hand by Connor. That one landed clean. Nate trying to become the aggressor here. Final minute of the first. Connor again, sweeping with that lead uppercut. He'll pull guard, Joe. And he is. 30 seconds. Connor trying to throw down some ground and pound. He'll just get out of harm's way. <laughs> Nate up against the fence. Spins. Good movement by Nate here. Round one in the books. There's a nice left hand by Connor. And there's another one. And there's another one. And that was the one that really cut him. Yeah. Sweeping left hand. It's a bad cut, too. Show that left hand. He's leaning for right uppercuts there. It's Kavanaugh's legs as well. We have those leg kicks, yeah? John Kavanaugh. All right. Let's show them another round. There we go. Full recovery. Full recovery. 15 straight wins for Conor McGregor. 17 of 19 wins by knockout. This Round two. 
Keep an eye on the cut. And right eye of Diaz. Creative striking once again by McGregor. Hunter does a nice job covering distance quickly, Joe. Darts in and out very well. He said he didn't come here to take part. Said he came here to take over. We didn't know it was going to be at multiple weight classes. Connor, good left. Advancing pretty much the whole fight. John Cavanaugh was telling him to show him the left hand. He leans away from it and land the right uppercut. Fatigue should not be a factor for either fighter. Nate training for the triathlon, Joe mentioned. Good left hand by Connor. Connor pouring it on here. There's that uppercut. Connor weighing in at 168. Just missed. That's the one Kavanaugh was talking about. Clinch by Nate. Good defense by Connor. A lot of blood coming out of that right eye. 90 seconds into round two. Connor's busting Nate up. Which in the Diaz world means absolutely nothing. Because he will fight until he can't fight any longer. Excellent exchanges here. Spectacular, good stylistic matchup. The Stockton slap coming soon. Strong jab by Nate. Good head movement. Clinch. Joe, this is what the world was hoping for. Nice uppercut there by Connor. Two of the greatest stand in the octagon and trade. Nate Diaz oh, making up some ground here in the second round. Big Black difference that here is the ball. Oh, he tagged Got him with the gun in there. He tagged him. He heard him. He heard him with that left. And he senses He's it. That's another connection. Diaz. The couple of big punches that landed on McGregor's chin. Now Connor is it less than 100%? Oh my goodness! Combination! Nice knee to the body by Nate as well. Nate Diaz yes. turned the tape and it to McGregor here. Nate right in front of his corner. Good shots landed by Nate. Jake Shields, Richard Perez and company. Again, Diaz connects. Connor comes back. He caught him again with the right hook. And another left. And oh. again with the combination. And Connor look out, looks look out for the, the takedown. The guillotine. Diaz trying to finish with a submission. He's got it. Could he do it? He's Connor trying to get out of it. Connor's in serious trouble. One minute on the clock. Diaz gets the hole. My goodness. Now he's got, he's got the back. Back. No. That's it. He's got the chance. Nate Diaz. He's out. He has yeah. done it. He he it is all over. Nate Diaz beats Conor McGregor. Oh, my goodness. What a night, ladies and gentlemen. What a night. Submission win. For Nathan Diaz. Wow. Oh, wow. What did we say before this fight? We had never seen Connor overcome adversity. And Nate Diaz has a legitimate, high level, world class Brazilian Jiu Jitsu ground game. And it was Connor, Joe who initiated the takedown there. Well, he did it out of desperation. He had to, absolutely. He was getting rocked, he was getting hurt. 
And Nate Diaz just dominated him on the ground. Wow. Man. Wow. In the last hour, partner, the MMA world became much more interesting. Than we could barely even get it oh out. My we talked for a living. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. What a crazy night. Fight replay. What a crazy night. Brought to you by Bud Light. Raise one to right now. I hope Conor McGregor stays offline for a couple days. <laughs> Here we go. Left to the body. This is early in the fight. There's a left hand. There's a nice uppercut. But boom! There's one on the chin that stunned Conor McGregor. And that's what started it all off. We saw him wobble, and we saw Nate smile. And here's Nate on the ground, just slices through him like butter, gets the mount, pounds on him. Connor's in deep, deep trouble. Connor gives up his back. Nate sinks in the choke, pounds on him again, and just locks it in deep. And Nate Diaz walks away with the biggest victory of his life. Covered in blood, double bicep, he couldn't be happier. Look at Jake Shields and Crone Gracie. They couldn't be happier either. Unbelievable. The black belt in Gracie Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in his 22nd UFC fight on 11 days notice has defeated the notorious Conor McGregor. for our official decision. Brought to you by Metro PCS, where you get nationwide coverage on the blazing fast 4G LTE -T mobile network for just $30, period. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 12 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to a rear naked choke. Nate! Great class by both men. Nate Diaz, <laughs> you just shook up the world. How's that feel? Hey, I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. <laughs> this is a fight you asked for after you beat Michael Johnson. You got it. Was there anything coming into this fight you only had less than two weeks' notice. Was there anything that you didn't expect that happened here tonight? Uh, no, I know it was going to be a slow start for me because, you know, I'm always in shape, but uh, if I'm not in the best shape, I got to start slow and pick up as I go. So I kind of expected it to go like it is. I expected to dodge and slip a little more. I didn't have a lot of sparring for this camp. Like, if I had a full camp, I don't think I would have been touched. But uh, he had some good punches and he landed them, so it was good, good on his part. So go, going into the round, this final round, you caught him with one shot and you saw him buckle. What did you think then? I just knew, like I said, I knew I was going to start off slow. And as soon as I got warm up and fell, it was going to start turning around. It was going to, and it happened a little earlier than I expected. Take a look at the big screen, Nate. This is when you started landing on him. When you saw him backing up, you saw him wobbling, what was going through your mind there? Hey, I started off slow, but I'm faster than everybody. But, you know, I got to pick up, I got to warm up, so. Now, once you got him on the ground, you went through him like fire through bushes. As soon as you got that mount, you flattened him out, took his back. What were you thinking here? Yeah, I would have had a, I know it was done. I, I would have had a lot more knockouts on my record, but as soon as they see him landing on, they start shooting, all of a sudden they're wrestlers. So, uh, my jujitsu is always there for when I hit the ground. But it's always from the boxing, Rachel Perez boxing. I, uh, that's usually get what gets a the fight there. Nate, this was a spectacular victory, even more spectacular given the fact you didn't have a training camp for this. Congratulations, sir. Enjoy it. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm an athlete, a warrior. We should already be, always be ready to fight everybody on our worst day. And I want to give a shout out to my brother, Nick Diaz, 
the man, the main man. They're the new king of this motherfucker now, and it's right here, all right? Gilbert Melinda, Tom Gracie, my boy Chris Avila, Jake Schiff, Richard Perez, my team, thank you very much. Thank you, UFC, Dana Loret, Lorenzo, and right on, Conor McGregor for uh, taking the fight. Two on short notice, and we got it done. Nate Diaz, thank you for being awesome. As awesome as ever with the win over Conor. Here's Joe. I'm here with Conor McGregor. Conor, you took this fight on short notice, expecting to fight Rafael Dos Anjos. G give us your thoughts on Nate as an opponent and what went down here tonight. Uh, I took the chance going, going at 170, but Nate came in. He was there. Uh, I felt I took him the first round, but I, I was inefficient with my energy. But I'm humble in victory or defeat. And um, I respect Nate, he came in. Yeah, he took the fight on short and I always came in at 170 and, and done the job. He, he was efficient. I wasn't efficient. That was, that was it, I feel. I feel I was, I hit too much arms, too much. Uh, these things happen. I learn, I grow. I took a chance, came away. It didn't work out. Um, it is what it is. I'll, I'll face it like a man, like a champion, and come back and do it again. I'm sure you will, sir, and I look forward to seeing you compete again. Conor McGregor, ladies and gentlemen. I love that from the notorious one. Humble in victory, humble in defeat. This night belongs to Nate Diaz and Misha Tate. Wow, how things have changed. Conor McGregor defeated for the first time in his UFC career. Nate Diaz scores the biggest victory as a professional. And the next time we see you on pay-per-view, we will be right back here in Las Vegas as Cormier and Jones fight again. The UFC has stripped John Jones of his light heavyweight title and suspended him indefinitely. Dana, is there a chance that he might never return to the UFC? I don't know what's going to happen. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world. UFC 196, McGregor versus Diaz, has been sponsored by Harley Davidson, the only motorcycle worthy of being in the octagon. Roll your own. By Hardcore Henry. Critics are calling Hardcore Henry a mix of Jason Bourne, Captain America, and Call of Duty. Hardcore Henry, only in theaters, April 8th. And by EA Sports UFC 2. Get ready to finish the fight with EA Sports UFC 2. Pre-order now at easports.com.